Next question is from Renee Flo. Are the mind pump wives equally as interested in fitness and health? Is it a shared hobby or do you balance each other with opposite interests? Yeah, well, my wife uh, worked in the fitness industry. Um, she she loves it. She's a, a, Now, she's not currently working, but she was an online coach. And before that, she was a personal trainer, um, worked out consistently. Nutrition is an important thing. So for her, yeah, she's pretty pretty damn interested in fitness and health it's something we both share uh now my now i was married before uh to somebody who was not interested in it at all and to be quite honest um i i prefer being i prefer having a partner that is really into uh the same things that i am because mm -hmm. it makes it easier we both respect each other's workouts we both uh, eat in a way that you know values our health um, so it makes things a lot easier. But there, yeah. Oh, I definitely are, think. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I just wanted to ask Sal more about that. Like, are, are there specific things that you that are different? Like that you recognize? Like, oh wow! Like I didn't realize how much I appreciate that now. Well, like, working out with Jessica's awesome. Uh, you know, because the music. It, yeah, because the music. She hates it when you guys breathe. <laughs> <I know. laughs> she gets so annoyed. She, she could be playing Slayer from now on. She'll you text know? You guys. Just, I'm trying to help you out, dude. Yeah, so you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no. The work. The workouts are great. Um, nutrition is great. You know, we're both. So on, on similar wavelengths uh, with that. Um, the stuff that we're interested in, the articles, the things that we like to talk about, new exercises, how things feel, workout programming. Like, it's cool to share that, you know? Um, but So she's super into it. Um, I don't know if she's as... I mean, I, I tend to get a little fanatical sometimes about it. Although, I will say this. She's probably more on the wellness side uh, than, and I'm more on the like workout side, I would say. Um, it, so we balance each other out a little bit there, but it's not too extreme. We're pretty similar. Yeah. I, th I think it's a lot easier when you have similar interests. I mean, that's just, uh, I just can't imagine having to, you know, motivate constantly somebody who's not even into what you're into to be into that. And uh, we met in the gym. So, uh, you know, that's kind of where we started our, our whole relationship was uh, based around, you know, her w being in there trying to improve herself. Uh, so we definitely share that in common. However, like I just loved her personality about, you know, giving shit right back to me as far as uh, me trying to kind of come in and tell her exactly what to do and all these things. And then she would challenge my ideas in a funny way uh, that would throw me off. And so it was like, we, we still have that dynamic. Like she's really passionate about, um, you know, l making sure like her health is on point and, and, you know, very much is a priority. Uh, but also if I, um, you know, I, I put some stuff together or whatnot, you know, we still have this like kind of joking relationship about that. Like, Oh, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. Or like, yeah, I'll totally do that. And like, so it's just, it's just kind of fun, uh, uh, you know, kind of dynamic that we have around fitness. I've had, um, I've had both, right. I've had, um, relationships where, uh, the, the partner is absolutely not into fitness whatsoever. And then I've had like the other extreme where, you know, before I ever competed, I, I dated a competitor. Right. So I know what it was like to be with like a, someone who was fanatical about it. And I would say Katrina probably lands somewhere in the middle. Um, she's definitely not fanatical, uh, about training, but she's also very serious about it. Like she's very consistent. I mean, most all of our relationship, um, she's maintained about 12% body fat. And so for that, for a female is, is pretty crazy is to, to keep that for as long as she had, obviously not when she was pregnant. Um, and she's been very, very consistent with her training. When we met, uh, she, I, I met her also inside the gym. That was the first time I'd seen her was working out in the gym and she was a, a collegiate level athlete. So she, she came from like the sports athletic background and she trained that way. So she lifted like an athlete that was, you know, before CrossFit was really popular, the very CrossFit-y type of a routine where she was like circuit training everything. And when we first dated, I had already learned from previous relationships that I am typically the fanatical one out of the, the two and to not be that guy and to just kind of let her do her own thing. And um, I really didn't start uh, like coaching uh, Katrina on her nutrition and her and her training until like five, six years in. It wasn't until she came to me. She And it was after she started to see me really start to manipulate my body composition. And she was like so blown away by how much I could change my physique over the course of just like a couple months. And that was when she finally like perked up and was like, uh, I'm, I think I'm ready to listen to what you have to say about mm -hmm. uh, nutrition and exercise. And then I completely changed uh, the way she lives. And she's also the only uh, partner I've ever had where I, I actually do enjoy training with her. Um, she's, she's since day one, she's always like respected that as my, like, 
my special time that I, my, my, my time that, that I like to do my thing. And so we can go to the gym together and, and enjoy the workout space, but also not communicate. So it's like, and it's okay. It's not like this, you can't talk to me, but it's like, she knows that I, I'm into my working. Mm -hmm. And then I also am there if she needs something, right? So there's times that she'll come walking over and, Hey, I have a question on this and I can answer it and I'll go back. But and every, very rarely, but every once in a while, we'll actually lift together, but that's rare. Like we normally don't lift together. And what I love about her balance with nutrition, she likes food. She loves food just like I do. Um, and she actually like, she prefers drink over anything else. So she's like, she loves like her, her, her alcohol beverages. So that's kind of like her thing that if she wants to, she'd rather do that. I'd rather dip into ice cream, um, but we balance each other. So if, you know, one of us has been, not eating the greatest. Uh, normally, the other one is is more dialed in. And when we come to the dinner time, and somebody is like, "Oh, I really feel like a burger," it's rare that we both align and are in the same place. We we both have to feel good about our training and our consistency of our diet to go. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and order some Five Guys, or oh, let's go ahead and have some drinks tonight. And so, having another partner that holds you accountable for me that was something that. Um, I think is was so important to or for me in my relationship because I know that I've been in ones where the partner doesn't do those things and I'm I'm easily persuaded as yeah. much as I'm a fanatic about fitness you know if you're bringing home candy and ice cream and you're and you're cooking and you're baking and you're doing those things in my house all the time like shit I'm human I will mm -hmm. I will eventually start diving into that and if you you're never motivated to get up and work out because we're tired and we're lazy and you're never, and it's always got to be me to motivate. Yeah. I, I give in, you know, eventually I lose. And oh, I, 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 dude, it, it's so great that, that Courtney has this, uh, you know, like health conscious attitude towards cooking and she's a phenomenal cook. But, you know, beforehand, she really loved baking and we'd get we'd get in these cycles of like having cookies and like all these like amazing like bake treats and things. And then we're just like, we can't keep doing this, you know. Yeah, and so yeah. we finally came to conclude like what works best for us as a family and we're very active and everything. But uh, it, it's been great to see her evolve, you know, in terms of like what the interests are, which benefits the entire family as a result. It's very rare that you see it work out like with maybe Sal and his act. Well, obviously it didn't work out. Out, but it, you know, with people like that, <laughs> with people like that, it's rare though, right? It's rare that you find somebody who is very fanatical about fitness and the person that is the opposite, because it is such a lifelong journey and it yeah. takes so much discipline and commitment to lots of behaviors that that encompass. Well, it's more than that too, because it's okay. So one of the this obviously the side effect of being consistent with fitness and nutrition is you look good, right? You have a nice body and you're fit. But that's not the main reason why, at least for me, I appreciate being with a partner that is into it. That's nice. It's a great side effect. Don't get me wrong. I like that. But the main thing that I like is when you have a healthy relationship with exercise and nutrition, you are a personal growth, a personal growth minded individual. You like uh, improving yourself. That's really what fitness really is all about. If you yeah. have a healthy relationship to it, it's constant personal growth. It's constant improvement. It's constant examining yourself. It's being humble. Do I need to work on mobility? Do I need to get stronger? It's looking at your diet in a way that says, is this making me feel the best? And am I really feeding myself in a way that shows that I take care of myself? And so when, you, when you're partnered with someone who, who values that a lot from a healthy standpoint, of course, there's the unhealthy fanaticism, right? If you're dating the the super fanatical bikini competitor or whatever, that's totally different. I'm talking about a healthy relationship. When someone has a healthy relationship to those things, they they value that in the rest of their lives. They're just into being better people. And so this is the thing that I love the most. So, mm -hmm. you know, I told I tell this to Jessica all the time. I said, look, we're gonna some we're gonna get old one day. We're gonna all get old together. We're not gonna look like we do now. But the thing that I love the most, the thing that turns me on the most about you, the thing that fi I find the most attractive about you is that you're always trying to improve and be a better person. And fitness and nutrition is a big part of that. That's all it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a big, big part of that. Yeah.